For the first time in years, the city of Medford will once again consider the Coquel tribe's efforts to build a casino right here in Medford on South Pacific Highway. And it's a really complicated procedural history to this matter. The coastal based tribe's first effort was opposed locally by Governor Kate Brown and ultimately what mattered most, the federal government in 2020. It just opened Margaritaville's Compass Hotel next to its Roxy and Lanes this summer. Now it wants to change the bowling alley into a class two casino, which means no table games. The Coquel tribe is asking the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs to place land into trust to develop the casino. City of Medford attorney Eric Mitten says the application has been back and forth for the last decade. There have been legal disputes about the proper methodology for making this determination. At one point, it appeared that the Bureau of Indian Affairs had denied the application and then they reactivated the application. The tribe wants to remodel Roxy Ann Lane's bowling alley into a 30,000 square foot gaming facility. The proposal includes a 16,000 square foot gaming floor with 650 gaming machines, a bar and support services. In December, Brenda Mead, the tribe's chair, spoke about the development in an online public hearing. Our goal has been to open a new venue, which will add to our exciting entertainment campus in South Medford creating jobs, entertainment choices for our community, and an investment that will benefit all Jackson County residents. The Bureau of Indian Affairs has come out with a 250-page environmental impact statement. According to Mitten, it includes impacts including transportation, calls for service, and land development. On Thursday, the Medford City Council will discuss the proposal and plans moving forward, but no vote will be taken. So this is the City of Medford's opportunity to make comments on those impacts. If this proposal goes forward, what are impacts that we've highlighted and what mitigations would we argue are appropriate given this, this particular development? By the end of February, the city will provide written comments on the draft environmental impact statement. Mitten says ultimately the federal government will decide if the land is placed into trust.